Today we're going to use grep to find text that's in between a parenthesis, but not include the parenthesis themselves. Uh, but using this expression, pretty much you could find something that's in between anything you want, like quotation marks or whatever you want. Well, let's write the expression. I'm going to go to my, oh, my grep is open here. I'm going to go to my little uh, icon here and go down to match. And we're going to look what's called, use what's called a positive look behind. When I click on this, here's the expression that we get. But we have to insert the character that we're looking for after the equal sign. So I'm going to say I want to find an open parenthesis. So just to be safe, I'm going to use a backslash and type my open parenthesis. And what this is going to do is it's going to look uh, for characters in the text. And if it finds a parenthesis behind something, that means the condition has been met. So that's the first part of my pattern. The next part of my pattern is going to be, I'm just going to use any character. How many times? I'm just going to say uh, one or more times. Repeat one or more times and now we have to do the other end which is going to be a positive look ahead so now it's going to look ahead of a character for a certain criteria so again we get almost the same thing here and we have to type in the character that we're looking for so again I'll use a backslash and a close parenthesis uh, let's do a little test and see if it's finding what we want it to find. So I'll click the Find button. All right, I found that text within the parenthesis, but you see it's not including the parenthesis itself. So let's find another one. All right, found that one. Find Next. Let's do another one. Find Next. Find Next. So it is finding the things in between the parenthesis. But you can see over here, we have a problem. Here it's finding too much. Here's my first parenthesis is over here. Here's a parenthesis. Then it found some text. So what it's looking for, you know, we told it find text, any character, one or more times. So it's assuming, well, close parenthesis is a character. But it's continuing on until this other close parenthesis all the way over here. So how do we remedy that? Well, we're going to use something slightly different. Let me get rid of this one or more times. And I'm going to replace it with one or more times shortest match. So when it gets to that first close parenthesis, it's going to stop. So let's click on this instead. Now let's do my find. Oh, here we go. We'll start from the beginning again. Let's zip through. Get back. Here we are. This is where we were, page 85. So you can see, didn't select this whole big bunch here. Uh, now what we can do is, instead of using regular grep, we can also use this with a grep style, which I think in this case is probably going to be a little more handy. So I'm just going to say done. And we'll get a chance to do this one more time. Only this time I'm going to use a grep style. So I'm just going to do it for this particular uh, paragraph. So I'll go to this drop down menu here and go to grep styles. And let's do it again. New grep style. Apply style. So I already created a style here that I just called accent, which is just going to make text bold, italic, and red. Now let's put our expression in here. So by default, it picks any digit, which is not that useful. But let's put in our, our expression again. Positive look behind. Again, I have to put my parenthesis in there. So I'll use a backslash, open parenthesis. Period is any character one or more times. Now we need our close parenthesis. So let's go back to match. Positive look ahead. 
Now I have to put my close parenthesis in here. Let's click off here and see what we get. All right, so again, see I have that problem. It's selecting too much. But if I change this guy here, get rid of that plus sign, I'll change this to repeat one or more times shortest match. Click in this empty area. Now we can see it's working. So it's not selecting this whole bunch, it's doing the shortest match. All right, so I'll just say okay. And that's it for now. See you later. Bye-bye.